All right, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's Carfleet back with another Friday video. We're finally gonna be doing the Ram exhaust. I've been putting it off for so long. My wrist has gotten a lot better. Still looks bad, but I hope we have all the material. If not, we're gonna have to hit the hardware store halfway through the job. All right, so here's the exhaust as of now. It's super loose. Like it's broken the welds, so this is the perfect time to do it. I've moved the exhaust of so many times just because of my setups with the bumper and stuff. The plan is we're gonna take it off and we're gonna get it to run out here somewhere. On this joint, you can see there's a crack, so it's basically, it's not connected here anymore properly. So we gotta take it off anyways. Now is the time. We're gonna see if we can do with the materials that we have. Like we can reuse that bend, which I think we're gonna have to. And I got extra pieces, so I hope we can make it work. Let's give her a whirl, guys. So I'm just gonna take the exhaust out. Let's get started. Exhaust is off. Where the exhaust ends right now, that's actually, a bit, it's pretty, really stable. So exhaust, right? It's gonna run straight a little further. So we're gonna have to go further and then put a connection and we're gonna have to run it over the frame right before this cross member and then out the side of the bed. So basically the hardest part's gonna be getting that, that over piece. Shouldn't be too bad. I just gotta make sure everything welds too. I don't want it to fall off like this one did. I'm gonna use the MIG this time. I'll show you guys what metals we got, but that's the basic idea. It's a little bit of a bummer here. I've been collecting these. This is the only one that's gonna be proper. ID to ID. So you can see this side fits over and this side fits over because these ones are this is the same size and then this size fits over yeah we got this piece so this could be the piece that starts the the angle up and then that other piece could be the turn over i'm hoping this will work guys i honestly have no clue but i think we should start it and see how it sounds with the exit underneath <laughs> Right, guys so i've been working away kind of cutting up a bunch of my old pipes to make this work i'll show you guys what i got so far it's all mocked up right now um stock exhaust three inch id to id my buddy dre actually gave me this bend like a year ago when i did the original exhaust so it went from a 45 i should say to a an adapter but these adapters that i have uh, th this one was a used one I, that was already on my exhaust i cut it off on both sides put it put the adapter that i showed you that wouldn't work earlier because i had to hammer it in because these are shot all these adapters that are used and then i got a straight piece this straight piece was on my exhaust right before the tip now if you look at this we got a hanger in the perfect spot look at that so my plan is i'm going to cut out a hanger drill it I'll show you guys. It's kind of hard to explain, but I'm going to drill a hole through here. I'm going to stick the hanger in there and weld it while it's in there so it's nice and secured. You can see we got a little adapter. I cut it to our stock piece that goes over the diff there. I just cut the elbow out. So yeah, it's all mocked up. I'm just going to place it down. I'll show you guys from underneath. Yeah, there you go. Out, straight out the side. And then there it goes, right over. It won't touch the frame. So to give you guys an idea of what it actually looks like, it's straight there and it comes up and goes over the frame. It's really little compared to what was in there. Like we took out a lot of pipe. Okay guys, so I, I got it mocked up with the hanger now. It actually worked out way better than I thought it would. So there it connects to the vehicle. You can see big gap and this is mocked up in the hanger. So you can see what I actually did. One of the hangers from you guys see that hanger right there? There's one on the other side. So I cut it off there on that side, drilled a hole and stuck it in the hole and it gives me a perfect hanger. I was gonna say as well, guys, with the body left, I just have like so much more room to mess around with this stuff. Cause if I was three inches lower, this would actually be hitting. So the three inch lift makes this a lot easier. Definitely hundred percent can still do it without it, but I thought I'd just throw that in. Just so you guys know, I have a body lift. This isn't bone stock. So hangers welded in, I use the MIG on it and it's not going anywhere. Like it's moving the whole truck before it moves. A reliable hanger, we're gonna paint it so we don't have any metal showing. Here's the exhaust, tacked. Nothing's moving anymore, it's all tacked. The next thing I'm gonna do is just weld it all together. All right guys, so we're gonna do some welds now. Lay some beads. So 
I haven't welded in a while, but seemed to be pretty good. Some nice beads every now and then. Some were ugly. So I did a snorkel on my first Ranger I had two and a half, three years ago, maybe. And I, I luckily kept this because I was like, yeah, I'm probably never going to use it again. Basically a three inch that just fits perfect. And it's for metal. So you guys see that? Like it's a little bit big, but the pipe will just fit so snug and it'll have such a clean cut. I'm so happy I pulled this out again and found it. That's so funny. I actually got it hanging from the garage door to spray the, the beads, but I just sprayed the whole thing because save some rust, that would be nice for once. So I sprayed the hanger underneath, prevent some rust there. I cut this as my straight piece adapter. All right guys, so it's officially time to cut the hole out the side. I'm gonna line it up here. On the inside, I'm gonna drill the guide hole just so I know where to drill the hole, right? Cause I'm kind of guessing if I don't. Here we go, so we're right where we wanna be. This is just a test piece. All right guys, here goes nothing. It's not sticking out this far, first of all. It's barely gonna stick out. All right guys, here it is. But you can see perfect circle. We got our mini adapter. So I got it cut. I thought the angle was gonna be different than it turned out. I actually don't mind the angle it's on. It's all fully welded now. I just have to put it to the vehicle. It looks so cool. All right, so I trimmed it guys. It's not exactly the right angle that I want it to be, but it's like really close. Okay guys, so here's that plate that I talked to you guys about, about like dressing it up a bit. So I have all these dots on it. Those are gonna be drilled holes for bolts and the bolts are gonna stay silver. The plate's gonna be black. So look how cool this looks guys. Place it right there, right? It's gonna be black. The exhaust is gonna come through it. It's mint. I did, I used the same hole cutter for the middle. The rest, I just used the grinder just and finessed it somehow. Guys, check this out. That looks so good here. I'm mean, probably going to sand down this bit here. Look at this, guys. Look how good that looks. Just wait till it's black, the silver matching the fenders and stuff. Woo! I love the way this looks. I'm going to show the, the outcome. All done. Completed. No movement at all. So I actually ended up welding it welding it to the exhaust that was on the truck and i also ended up cutting it and extending it longer with another adapter but i did all that off camera but yeah it's all done tightened up painted black and it looks so cool and it sticks out just a little bit which my original plan it was like almost flush and i didn't really like it so now it's, it sticks out a bit and we're about to start it for the first time That's how you make the bedside exhaust. If you got any questions, guys, let me know in the comments. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. And we took it around a little drive yesterday. It was good. And now you can see we got no more exhaust back here. So we just got loads of clearance, guys. Shouldn't be getting hit by anything now, too. It's pretty much out of the way. Like, it's tucked over the frame and stuff. So hopefully that's the last time I have to do the exhaust. Hey, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as you can see, we took the rack off. Rack isn't going back on. We're selling that rack. That's in uh, the next video. If you guys haven't seen that one, go check it out. We're going stage three with this guy. Thank you all so much for watching. Hit the sub button if you want to see more content. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. All right, guys, quick cold start before you go.